had been looking for uh, an opportunity to volunteer and work really with um, someone one-on-one. -on -one. So I contacted the number um, that was on the flyer and I got involved because I could relate to a mom-to-mom -mom program where I could actually, you know, work one-on-one -on -one with someone. It was my second child that I actually got a volunteer and this is my friend Tanya and um, she's wonderful and I, I was nervous at first because I didn't know how that would work out, um, but she's, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that I met Tanya. I got involved in this program because um, I saw a little ad in the newspaper looking for volunteers, and I think it's a great thing for someone who has a history of postpartum depression to work with other women who might have the same problem, and I wish I'd had that when I had my children 26 years ago. I think that this is really a great program. I wish it was around when I was a first-time mom because being a first-time mom, you try to have everything perfect and you want everything to be perfect and that just adds so much stress in addition to having a newborn or a first-time baby. So, this is great. I had a very difficult time early on. Um, Ethan was very challenging and I, I definitely felt like I needed some more support. I was placed in it in a way in a boat because um, the lady that works with me kind of like knew that I needed extra attention, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I got involved in it because uh, I unexpectedly found out I was pregnant after, and I have a 12 year old son, and it was very scary. And, uh, and I also uh, suffer from depression, so, and I was just looking for resources, and I ended up. Uh, Families first uh, through a link on the Women and Infants uh, Hospital website, and when I read about the program, I just thought it sounded really great. I was a little down with my baby, and they suggested me to come to a program because I don't do medication. I'm not very into that, and I'm like, this has to be willpower because it's a feeling, and you need willpower to to get everything back together and stuff with a new baby. Actually, a friend of mine um, was working in the program and had asked me about it, and uh, I'm kind of an empty nester. My girls have both um, had gone off to college and left, and so uh, I'm retired. I had some time, and uh, I said I'll give it a try. I like the idea of the training, and I felt as though I had some time to give back. Volunteering with Families First was incredibly rewarding to me um, because just because of the relationships I've formed with the moms that I've worked with and the fact that I um, come away from every interaction with one of them feeling um, the weight of the um, significance of being um, a stable force in someone else's life, um, providing the mentorship that is so needed um, in our society today for new moms. Um, it's such a difficult time for many people and just to be an ear for that person and provide some support. Ethan has been very challenging, very colicky, and initially I felt I was having a lot of trouble isolating myself because I felt bad asking people to come in and help, knowing how difficult he was. And um, it's nice to know that there are volunteers, there's women willing to come in, and even if he screams, you know, for an hour, they're okay with that. <laughs> and it was really hard for me to understand that because I, I know how difficult it was for me at home, and I didn't want to, to put somebody else in that, in that spot. Well, I have pretty serious postpartum depression, and um, I have a tendency to really isolate myself when I get down and just not make any phone calls and not see anybody or go out, and Tanya did not let that happen. She just really, she kept um, calling and keeping in contact and getting me out for a walk or whatever. really helped a lot. Um, so it has
hasn't been as difficult this time as it was with my first child. For me, it's also gotten me out of the house. It also led me to a completely different career path than I would have anticipated. I'm actually uh, working now as a postpartum mom to go back to college for social work to focus on postpartum women and families. It's been great. Um, I just totally enjoy it. It was a little unnerving the very first time going into a new house, a new family, but by the end of my first visit, I just felt like it's going to be fun, it's going to be good for me, and I think it'll be good for her too. I've had a lot of mothering experience. For me, the healthy part is having someone to call and talk to, and getting some other advice, another mom's advice and what experience. She was there when, to help me with the baby when I needed to be like a little calm, like downtime for myself. She'd play with the kids and I had like five minutes to myself or if I just needed to speak to somebody, she's there and then she told me if I need anything I could call her, which I didn't call her because sometimes I wanted to call her really late, so I decided not to call her because it's a little awkward, but she was always there and she there and she listens when I need her. Yeah, I, I would I would highly recommend it to a volunteer. Um, you know, it's just for me the program was more than just um, being there for the year and just um, you know just sitting there and just finding out you know where the person was. I think it's we just connected and I think the matching part of the program is the beauty of it because if you get the right match, I think in each other's lives. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. I mean, I know that, you know, in my own particular case, most of my family lives in Massachusetts. I mean, not that that's a million miles away, but if you, sometimes when you just need someone to meet for lunch and, and, and go shopping with, you know, it's not always the easiest thing to coordinate when, you know, they have their own lives and they're, you know, living, you know, further away and it's... It's nice knowing that, you know, I have a friend that I can call on and, and, you know, or just send a text message to and say, you know, and be able to get that excitement out of, you know, I only gained one pound, but she gained five ounces, <laughs> you know, so it's, it's nice to be able to do that. Yes, and I have, um, in different, uh, moms groups or, you know, um, playrooms and things like that, um, I very much recommend it. And actually, I, I brought a friend today, and um, I would highly recommend it. I think it's great. Oh, most definitely. Um, especially one who's come from a mixed background or has, like, not really stable friends or a stable relationship with their own family members. I would definitely recommend being a mom care for families first. Um, I think that as much as you provide to the moms that we work with, triple back <laughs> um, and it's very easy to do it doesn't take up a lot of your time um, you know an hour or two a week and um, the rewards are, are great